we've been talking about our imaginary Earth-like planet and how we could get there and how we could land there. Okay, what if we landed on our planet and then we grew some food and then it's cold in the winter like it is here. We can't grow food when it's cold. So how are we going to keep that fresh all winter long so that we have food to eat? Have you ever seen how food can get moldy or start to taste or smell bad if it's been a long time? That's because bacteria and mold want to eat food too. So if we want to keep our food safe from them, we need to preserve it. Preserving something means to keep it the way it is. We can't eat a whole bunch of food in the fall and get really fat and then hibernate all winter like some animals like bears do. So if we want to preserve our food, we need to keep it fresh some other way. In your house, you probably have a refrigerator or a freezer. It's harder for bacteria and mold to grow in the cold of the refrigerator and the cold of the freezer stops them from growing at all. So those are great ways to keep our food fresh. But what if we didn't have any electricity on our planet? Then we couldn't have a fridge or a freezer. Well, a long time ago, before there were refrigerators, people used to dig cellars in the ground. And these cellars would stay cool and dry all winter long so they could keep their food fresh. We can also add things to food that bacteria and mold don't like. Hmm, some of these things are sugar, salt, and vinegar. Hmm, sugar, salt, and vinegar. That sounds like pickles. Yeah, pickles were invented as a way to keep cucumbers and other vegetables fresh. There's so much salt and vinegar that the bacteria and mold that make food go bad don't like to live there. If we add a lot of sugar to some fruit and stir it till it gets nice and thick, then we get jam. Jam is a way to keep fruits fresh way longer than they would just on their own. Another way to preserve food is to heat the food up to kill all the mold and bacteria that might be there and then seal it up so no new ones can get in. That's how we get canned vegetables and canned soups. Sealing jars up like this can also make pickles or jam last even longer. Dry foods also last longer if we seal them up. That's why cereal and crackers come in bags inside these boxes to keep them fresh. The last way to preserve things is to dry them out. We talked about how all living things need water. So if we take out that water, the mold and bacteria don't have as much to grow on. Grains like rice or corn or wheat can last for years if they're dried out and sealed up. And so can things like beans. Dried fruit like raisins or prunes will last much longer than fresh fruit. And sometimes people dry meat to make jerky. Your STEM assignment for today is to try and preserve some food. I'm going to give instructions for making dried fruit, but if you want to get with an adult and make pickles or something, that's cool too. First, you'll need to get some fruit. Fruits that work well include strawberries, grapes, bananas, and apples. First, you'll wash it off. Make sure it's all clean. Then we want to prepare the food. Smaller pieces will dehydrate faster than larger pieces. So if your fruit is like the size of a grape or bigger, cut it into thin slices so it will dry faster. If you need to use a sharp knife, ask an adult near you for help. Once we have our small pieces, we can spread them out on a plate or a tray. If you have a rack, that's even better because then the air can dry them on both sides. But if not, that's okay too. We're going to make sure none of the pieces touch each other so that they can get lots of air circulation to dry out. We want to let it dry, but we also want to protect it from birds or flies. If we covered it with plastic wrap, we would trap in all the moisture. But we can cover it with a towel or a paper towel. We're going to clip this one on so that it will stay on even in the wind. You could also use rocks to weigh it down so it doesn't blow away. Then put your tray somewhere where it can get lots of sun and dry air, like outside on a table. If it might rain, bring your tray inside so it doesn't get more wet. If your house is as dry as mine, you might even be able to dry them inside. You'll need to check on your dried fruit at least once a day. If your pieces aren't dry yet, flip them over so they can dry on the other side. If any get mushy or moldy or something somehow, throw those out. But that probably won't happen. It will probably take a few days, maybe three to five days, depending on your fruit and how big it is. But when you're done, you'll have preserved some fruit that will last much longer dried than it would fresh, especially if you seal it up and keep it in a cool, dry place. Take a picture of your preserved food. Or if you can't preserve any food, then find some food that has already been preserved. Take a picture and tell how it was preserved. Is it pickled, sealed, dried, or frozen? Then share that with your class. And this is my last STEM video. It's kind of sad, but also exciting because I will get to see you and be with you in your class. So I look forward to seeing you soon. But until then, stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.
they turn out pretty good.